Hi everyone, this is the last part in a series of videos looking at staff sparring. So far we've looked at sparring with three different types of staff, foam, plastic and rattan. The foam and plastic are good for beginners, however in my opinion everyone should progress to rattan at some point as I think this is the overall best for sparring. Although I'll never fully replicate an oak joe, it's the best compromise between training with an oak staff and sparring safely. If you want to check out the previous videos, all the links are in the description below. In this video I'll be looking at some Aikido applications that came out when sparring. I'll be focusing on attacks, dividing them into three categories. One-handed strikes, two-handed strikes and thrusts. So to start with one-handed strikes, in the sparring we use Katate Gadangaishi and Katate Tomeuchi. That's number 11 and 12 from the Saburis or solo forms. You can see Saito Sensei on the left demonstrating the Saburi. Their application can also be found in the 4th and 5th Kumijo partner practice. In terms of the sparring we did, both were used, in particular Katate Tomeuchi. This cropped up a lot as it delivers a strike from the furthest distance. If you've noticed, I also do these strikes on both sides, which isn't the norm traditionally, however I think this way of training gives an advantage as it provides more of a balance and freedom of movement. Moving on to the two-handed strikes. This is a common way of striking with the Joe, not just in Aikido but with other martial arts and other weapons. If we look at the 31 Joe Carter in partner practice we can see two-handed strikes being used in Aikido. These clips show 5 and 6 and 10 and 11 from the 31 Kuma Joe. Similarities can also be seen when it comes to sparring. Also with number 20 from the 31 Kumi Joe, there's a drop in height with a two-handed strike to the knee. This also comes up in sparring. So now we'll have a look at thrust from the first part of the 31 Kumi Joe. Section 1-3 to three demonstrates thrusting and parrying. These are foundational movements and appear quite often in sparring. Although it might look quite different, the principles are still the same. The thrust, in my view, can sometimes be used in the same way as a jab. Sometimes it can be used to judge distance, other times it can connect with the full body behind the thrust. There's much more in addition to these three main attacks which can be found in Aikido training. I've already touched on the parries, but there's also several other movements that are similar to Hasso and others that have come from the Kumijo and 13 Jokata. If you've watched the previous videos, leave a comment and let me know if there's anything else you've picked up on. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos, please remember to like, share and subscribe as this helps the channel grow. And if you've got any questions feel free to ask below.